hello everybody and welcome to my channel i'm no longer spending hours and hours and hours on recaps because i just want me to get to the point i'm listening i'm definitely listening let's get into this review now a precursor of this episode is this corny super corny title and it's called getting wiggy with it well cheyenne is disappointed that majority of the ladies have covid and she's hoping that she's not next jade is still mad about brianna leaving ladies are worried about and being positive, the ones who are left without COVID, that is, which is Cheyenne, Macy, Jade, and Kaya. And minus Macy, their moms. Caitlin is sad to be left out due to COVID, but at least she has Tyler. They're both losing their minds. Amber feels drained, as per usual. Christy says that she wants to plan a surprise engagement party for Jade as a picker-upper. Number one, for the loss of Brianna, since you know, Brianna's dead and all. Y'all are very annoying. Anyway, and the fact that she misses Sean. She's standing here with Tiffany and they come up with this theme of a wig party because Jade does hair. What? That is so stupid. Christy tells Macy about the party. Then she calls Sean and tells him about the party and he's down. Guys, I'm really realizing how corny this freaking show is, and I promise you, and I'm really sorry to tell you, but if they have a, a Team Mom family reunion next year, your girl will not be reviewing or recapping it because I'm over it. This is torture. This is like eating oatmeal with no sugar, no milk, no salt, just lumpy as hell. That's what this show is like, lumpy freaking oatmeal. They've made this thing where they're trying to say Kaya planned a trip. And girl, we know you didn't plan it. We know MTV planned all these damn trips. Give me a break. So she's planned for everyone, well, the ladies outside of the grandmas, to go whitewater rafting. And Coach B has something planned for the grandmas. So uh, Kaya says that she's trying to get over her fear of water. They're leaving that exact second. And they're off on the water. They're paddling. They're about to fall out that damn boat. And then Kaya lets us know that she can't swim and she's scared. Kaya, you should be scared. You're on that open water and you can't swim. Coach B is here with the grandmoms and the exercise is the mirror. They have to look past their reflection and that's where the healing starts, Coach B says. Once they heal, their daughters will be able to heal. The women have to look in the mirror, tell themselves what they see in the mirror and how they can change to break the cycle. Tiffany's up first. She sees loyalty, frustration, staying in a relationship that wasn't worth staying in, trying to stick it out for the children, and she doesn't want that for Kaya. Anyway, Miss Margaret is up next, and y'all need to get some Windex for this mirror, first of all. So Miss Margaret says she sees herself as a great mom and that she gave her kids everything she didn't, and uh, she didn't receive an intact family herself. She had an in and out father. And so Coach B says, how did that affect your choosing of men? Miss Margaret says she chose the opposite and she thought that she chose right. They were together so long, their love just faded. And she says she's still dealing with trauma. Diane's dad and her were good for masking problems, and she hopes to help Cheyenne be successful in her marriage. More white water rafting. Next, Christy's up. As a mom, she sees a good mom who fell off for a while. She's a strong person, had a setback, and her kids leaving the nest made her feel like she had nothing, so she went out there partying, AKA doing drugs. Coach B asks, Christy, how do you think your drug addiction has affected Jade? Christy says, Jade might say I was a bad mom. Coach B coaches Christy. That's a lot of C's, damn it. <laughs> Coach B coaches Christy into forgiving herself with a repeat me session via the mirror. Christy apologizes to Jade through the mirror. Alrighty then. Or white water rafting. On their way back, Jade is saying that Ashley's online making an ass out of herself, saying that Roxanne picked up the chair and started the fight. Um, Jade, that's because she did. Jade says as soon as Ashley left, she couldn't wait to get online and post lies to cover her tracks. Nothing that she said was wrong, but anyway. Brianna is shooting back online. Bree is posting that Ashley is pregnant. Telling people that someone's pregnant when it's none of your business is ridiculous. So Jay says, Ashley's over here telling lies and had they known she was pregnant, things would have been different. They're saying Ashley's pregnant. So MTV continues to post parts of the live and Chris says, You got two mismatch ass kids with two mismatch ass dudes. Chris, I like you, but leave the kids out of y'all mess. MTV posts another clip of Ashley saying that she's not gonna beef with nobody shaped like a Rice Krispies box. <laughs> After that, everybody saw it in the car, apparently, and I, I don't know who it was that apologized to Jade. I don't know what you're apologizing to her for. Jade can dish it, then she can take it, and I don't feel bad for her either. Jade says, 
she wants nothing to do with Ashley. Someone, like I just said, is apologizing. And she says, girl, I don't give a F about that, B. First of all, yes, you do. This entire segment was you talking about Ashley. And by the way, you're the one that brought up the online stuff with Ashley. If you didn't care about her, why are you talking about her? Anyway, Jade, you're annoying. Now we have a hot tub scene, Cheyenne and Macy's talking about Ryan's family and Ryan. And Cheyenne asks, Macy, is it worth it to you to try to overcome all of this with everybody from what happened and move forward? And Macy says she thinks it's worth it for Bentley. Macy says that she knows Bentley wants a relationship with his grandparents, but she herself has a lot of anger that she needs to work on in a healthy way. The COVID clan are miserable. Macy's turn for the one-on-one -on -one with Coach B. Coach B says to Macy, you know how you talk about the weight that you have to carry regarding you and Ryan's relationship centered around the effect that it will have on Bentley. Macy's going to wear a 60 pound weighted vest, walk, scream it out. As she comes back, she's going to remove a weight from the vest. Macy's weight for the first walk is anger and exhaustion. The anger of Bentley not getting what he deserves and she's tired of the enabling behavior and she's tired of the BS. These are the things that she will be screaming out. Macy does her walk, she screams, she comes back a waist removed. Next is a relationship with Jen. She says that she doesn't know how it is. She had expectation and trust, but those weren't met and it hurt her. So Macy says she doesn't ignore the weight. She just can't control it. She can only control herself. She walks again. She screams again. The scream was misplaced trust. Coach B asks if Macy's willing to reach out to Jen and Larry to come down there to see if they'll come out for a healthier dynamic for Bentley. Macy says she doesn't know if it'll work. She's not against it, but she just doesn't know. And Macy says her relationship with Jen and Larry kind of exploded. Macy sends them a text. Jade's surprise engagement party. Jade and Sean are so in love, la la la, whatever. That is the end of my review and that's how I'm gonna be reviewing these shows from now on. You guys just want a rundown. You don't need it word for word. That's everything that happened in this show. It was boring and I'm over this season and I wish it could be over. I just want it to be over. I have more videos coming for you this week because I post videos every other day or every two days, whatever. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.